Salmon have fins and every fin has a name and a job. This fin is the dorsal fin. If you look really closely at this fin, you can see lines inside the fin. Those lines are called fin rays and they're the bones inside the fish that give the fin its structure and shape and allow the fish to move that fin around. If you look at the tail fin or the caudal fin, it's really easy to see the fin rays in this great big fin. This is the biggest fin on the fish and it's really important for locomotion or how the salmon moves. If you look at a salmon's body, they've got their head up here and the whole length of their body is muscle. They've got muscles on this side and muscles on that side. So when they tighten the muscles on this side of their body, muscles get shorter when they tighten and it pulls the caudal fin this way. Then this muscle group relaxes, it stretches out and the muscle group on the other side tightens up, constricts, and it pulls the caudal fin that way. These two muscle groups, they take turns tightening and relaxing and those muscle groups pull that caudal fin back and forth through the water and it's this big surface area of the fin getting pushed against the water that provides the power to make the salmon go. This fin is called the adipose fin. It's in between the dorsal fin and the caudal fin. This is a really special fin. Look carefully at this fin. There's no fin rays in this fin at all. It's soft and it's flexible. Grab your earlobe for a second. You know how your earlobe is soft and squishy and you kind of move it around? I think a human earlobe feels just like an adipose fin. We use the adipose fin, we give it an important human job to help us tell the difference between wild fish and hatchery fish. A salmon that grows up in a hatchery, when it gets to be about this big, they will cut this fin off. Remember, it feels kind of like an earlobe, so for the salmon, it's kind of like getting their ears pierced. But they cut off this little adipose fin in a hatchery fish. The fish grows up and the adipose fin never grows back. That's important in case somebody is lucky enough to catch that fish when the fish is all grown up. Look at a salmon if you catch it. If the adipose is missing, you can know for sure that that fish grew up in a hatchery. If the adipose fin is on the salmon, you can know for sure that that was a wild fish. We wanna know the difference between hatchery fish and wild fish because our fishing rules are sometimes different for hatchery fish or wild fish in an effort to protect the wild salmon populations. This fin right here is called the anal fin. See how the anal fin is kind of triangle shaped? If you look carefully, the dorsal fin is triangle shaped also. These two fins work together as a team, one on top of the fish and one on the bottom of the fish to prevent the fish from tipping or rolling over if it doesn't want to. These fins are the pelvic fins. These fins are the pectoral fins. Now, when I was in school and I was learning my fish fins, I had a hard time remembering which is which, pectoral fins or pelvic fins, because they both start with the letter P. What helped me to remember was to think about my own human body. Did you know in your human body you have pelvic bones? Salmon have pelvic fins. Your pelvic bones are your hips where your legs attach to your body. The pelvic fins on a salmon are kind of far away from the head where you might imagine if a salmon had legs, this is where they would come out. So that helped me to remember that these are the pelvic fins. These are the pectoral fins, the set of fins close to the salmon's head. Did you know in your human body you have pectoral muscles? If you don't know where your pectoral muscles are, they're the muscles that go across the front of your chest. So if you roll your shoulders way back and you feel it kind of stretch in here, you're stretching your pectoral muscles. My pectoral muscles are close to my head, so that helps me to remember that the set of fins close to the salmon's head are the pectoral fins. These fins work together in teams to help the fish. Now, if the salmon wants to swim really fast, like if it's hunting and chasing food, it's gonna hold these fins really close to its body, tuck in tight to make a small shape to push through the water so they can swim faster. But if the salmon wants to put on the brakes or it wants to slow down, it's gonna move those fins out rigid away from its body, pushing against the water, acting like brakes to help the fish slow down or stop. Mm -hmm.